Hello again guys, welcome back Nante here today with another video uh, with another country showcasing my uh, coin and banknote collection of uh, the beautiful Argentina is one of my favorite countries to, uh, to collect and uh, you know the drill before I start a uh, little bit info about the country, about their currency I just want to remind the, the new friends that I subscribe to my channel that I'm mostly a banknote reseller on eBay, not a collector per se. So most of the banknotes of or coins that you see here are uh, I have kept them from uh, bigger lots of mixed banknotes that I buy on eBay for reselling. So I buy plenty of banknotes. And I will keep some for my collection, uh, different design, different years, different series, etc, etc. But for the coins it's a little bit different, I don't profit uh, from the coins because I don't uh, resell them. I keep all the coins uh, for myself, for my collection. So I, I buy mixed lots of world coins and to date, these uh, are my Argentinian coins, and I'm really, really proud about my uh, Argentinian collection. So, collecting coins and banknotes, uh, I will continue to collect them. And uh, these videos are uh, somehow uh, like a time capsule because I will, uh, I will uh, make an updated video next year. And uh, we will see uh, how much uh, other coins or banknotes I will have so till the next year. So let's begin a uh, little bit, uh, bit info about uh, Argentina. So Argentina, uh, Spanish uh, Argentina, officially the Argentine Republic, uh, is a country located mostly in the southern half of South America, sharing the bulk of the southern Cone with Chile to the west. The country is also bordered by Bolivia and Paraguay to the north, Brazil to the northeast, Uruguay and the South Atlantic Ocean to the east, and the Drake Passage to the south. With a mainland area of 2.7 uh, million uh, kilometers, uh, square kilometers, sorry, Argentina is the eighth largest country in the world, the fourth largest in the Americas, the second largest in South America after Brazil, and the largest Spanish-speaking nation. The sovereign state is subdivided into 23 provinces uh, and one autonomous city, uh, Buenos Aires. Uh, Buenos Aires is also uh, Argentinian capital, uh, which is the federal capital of the nation, uh, as decided by Congress. Uh, the provinces and the capital have their own constitutions, but exist under a federal system. Argentina claims sover uh, sovereignty of over part of Antarctica, the Falkland Islands, uh, that Spanish, uh, they are called Islas Malvinas, and South Georgia and South Sandwich Islands. Uh, the earliest recorded human presence in Monterrey, Argentina, uh, dates back to the Paleolithic period. The Inca Empire expanded to the northwest of the country in the pre-Columbian times. The country has its uh, roots in Spanish colonization of the region during the 16th century. Argentina rose as the successor state of uh, the viceroyalty of the Rio de la Plata, a Spanish, Spanish overseas viceroyalty. I'm sorry, I can't pronounce this right. Viceroyalty founded in 1776. Uh, the Declaration on Fight for Independence, 1810 uh, till 1880, was followed by an extended civil war that lasted until 1861, culminating in the country's re uh, reorganization as a federation of provinces with Buenos Aires as its capital city. So, this, uh, this was a little bit info about the country of Argentina, a little bit uh, info about the Argentinian currency. 
So, the, we are talking about the Argentine peso here. Uh, the Argentine peso is the currency of Argentina identified by the symbol, the dollar symbol preceding the amount in the same way as many uh, countries using dollar currencies. It is subdivided into 100 centavos. So, yes. Uh, we have the peso before 1826. Uh, the peso was a name often used for the silver Spanish 8 real coin. Following independence, Argentina began issuing its own coins, denominated in reales, soles, and escudos, including silver 8 real or sol coins, still known as pesos. These coins, together uh, with those from neighboring countries, circulated until 1881. And then we have the Peso Fuerte from 1826 to 1881. Uh, we have a Peso Moneda Corriente from 1826 uh, to 1881. We have the Gold and Silver Pesos from 1881 to 1970. And uh, we have uh, Peso Moneda Nacional from uh, 1881 to 1970. We have the peso ley from 1970 to 1983. We have the peso argentino from 1983 to 1985. We have the austral. Here we have austral. A really beautiful series from 1985 to 1991. And we have the peso convertible from 1992 to present. So. And we will see the coins on banknotes in more detail. About the coins, in 1992, uh, the 1, the 5, the 10, the 25 and 50 centavo coins were introduced, uh, followed by 1 peso in 1994. 2 peso coins for circulation were introduced in 2010. The 1 centavo coins were last minted in uh, 2001. In, uh, 2017, there are plans to issue a new series of coins in denomination of 1, 2, 5, and 10 pesos. But uh, I don't. I think I don't have any of them. I don't have any of them. So, guys, uh, these are the coins that I have uh, to date. These are my oldest Argentinian coins. We have here. Uh, let me zoom a little bit. So we have here 10 centavos from uh, 1948, 20 centavos, 1950. These are the coins from uh, the 60s, the 50s, 60s, 20 centavos, 1960. And we have a beautiful portrait. I think this is the Argentinian uh, the effigy, the Republic. We have one peso, 1959. A really beautiful coin, this one peso. I really like this coin. We have the five uh, pesos, two identical coins from 1963. And we have a really beautiful uh, big old ship and we have the 10 pesos from this series from 63 and we have a man in a horse really really beautiful design and the, the shape of the coin is is very very interesting I uh, Argentinian coins or most of the South American coins have uh, really stunning designs and are one of my uh, favorite coin designs in the entire world. So we have the modern ones now from uh, the 90s, one centavo 1999 and uh, we have the Argentinian uh, motto and Union Libertad you will see this motto 
on the, on the all the Argentinian coins, the five centavos, 1992 and 1995. But you see here, these are two different metals. In about two years, they decided to switch. I don't know the base metal. So this is the beautiful Argentinian sun. Here we have the 10 centavos, 2005. I have uh, from 2005 also, 2008 and 1994. The same design, basically. From the same series, from the 90s, we have the 25 centavos, 1993. And we have a classic uh, Argentinian uh, architecture or architecture you know my English is not the best English uh, English you can hear on uh, on YouTube but I'm doing my best another one from 2009 and these are the 50 centavos 1992 94 93 on 94 so and the, the Argentina motto and then we have the beautiful bimetallic coins the one and two pesos stunning designs and I think uh, I ha this is the only commemorative Argentinian coin that I have. Uh, it's the bicentenary of uh, independence, I think. 1810, 2010. El Palmar. Bicentenario. So, you see, this is the standard design. And I think this is uh, I think this is uh, a commemorative one because you have the dates here, 200 years. So yeah, and now the three beautiful uh, two peso uh, two pesos coins. Very goldish, silverish uh, kind of coin, beautiful colors from 2014, 2010, and uh, 2011. Basically, the same design, but really beautiful uh, bimetallic coins. So, these were my coins to date, don't forget that. I will continue uh, buying foreign coins, especially from South America. I really like the South American coins. And then we will go to the banknotes now. Uh, these are my older series from uh, 20, uh, I'm sorry, 1947, I think. This is from 1947. This banknote, un peso, one peso, my oldest Argentinian banknote, another one. This is from the, uh, I think this is from the 40s, one peso, a really beautiful design. It reminds me some uh, some Italian banknotes of uh, of the same period, the 40s, the 50s. gorgeous design and then we have uh, two banknotes from the same series 10 pesos and 50 pesos and uh, let me see what year the uh, these banknotes are so this is from uh, 1951 this is 47 51 and uh, the two uh, 10 and 50 pesos are from uh, I think uh, 54 
So these two are from 54. I think this is the whole of the independence uh, declaration. If I'm not mistaken, please correct me. Argentinian uh, friends. And again, uh, depicting of Argentinian history, a general and cavalry, Argentinian army fighting for their independence. And then these are the modern series, or fairly modern series. Uh, the series are dated from the 1970. So most of the banknotes of uh, Argentina that I have are mostly uncirculated, so it's it's good. These are the series from uh, 1970. A really modest design, but also very beautiful. One peso, we have here another one peso. Different uh, color scheme. Also here we have uh, two different, uh, from two different years, from the 70s. The five pesos. And this is a really, really stunning design. This is the monument of the flag in uh, Rosario or the flag monument. We have the 50 pesos, 50 pesos argentinos. We have the 100 pesos and uh, General San Martin is the one of the most prolific Argentinian uh, figures, historical figures. Uh, guys, for your curiosity, this is the city of Ushuaia. This is the most uh, uh, southern uh, inhabited city uh, on the planet. So this is, I think, in Patagonia. I will love to go someday there. I really love uh, the Patagonia region. Many glaciers, many high mountains, everything is, is spectacular. Another 100, different color scheme. Also Ushuaia. We have the 500 pesos. And this is Cerro de la Gloria in Mendoza. We have the 1000. Very, very beautiful uh, design banknotes. I really like the Argentinian currency. This is Plaza de Mayo in Buenos Aires. And uh, we have three uh, other banknotes. Uh, this is series uh, from uh, 76 to 83. Uh, this is 1000 pesos argentinos. And we have the same depiction as uh, one banknote before. El Paso do, uh, de los Andes. We have the 5,000 pesos with General San Martin. And we have a really stunning uh, city design here. This is the famous Mar de Plata. I think Mar de Plata is also named of the, of the river, is the biggest river, I think, in Argentina. Please correct me if I'm wrong. And also another one, the 5,000. So these two are my uh, biggest denomination from uh, Argentina. And these two are 
uh, in perfect condition, uncirculated ones. And then we go to uh, series 8591, when their uh, currency was renamed uh, Austral. So we have, I have, I think I have uh, all the series. No, I'm missing the 5000. I'm missing only the 5000, I think, of the 110, 50. 100, 500, 1000, yes, I'm missing the 5000, I've had the 5000 here, but I think it was in a very, very bad condition, so I've sold them. Let's see, un austral, or one austral, I have the series in uh, perfect condition, the five australes, basically, uh, different color scheme, but uh, the same uh, design, the 10 Australis, 50, I really like this color scheme, the 100, the 500, And I have to 1000, a little bit circulated, but uh, as I said before, I really don't care because, you know, it's better to have them in this condition rather don't have them. So, two different uh, color scheme, I think. So yeah, this was the series, I'm missing only the 5000, this was the series from 85 to 91, and we have now the series 1992. Uh, I forgot uh, these two banknotes, these are provincial uh, banknotes, or I don't know, certificates, bonus, de cancellation de deudas. If someone has uh, some infos, please let me know in the comments below. You can pause the video and you can read. If you can read, very, very small uh, uh, typing. So yeah, so let's go here. I really like this series. These are the only two that I have from uh, 1992. 10 pesos. Uh, the one peso, the monument of flag, and I think this is the their parliament. Uh, yes, Congreso Nacional. I think this is their parliament, Argentinian parliament, in Buenos Aires. So, from 1992, only these two banknotes, and here we have. Uh, from 1997 So basically the same design. This is the first series from 1997. The same design was uh, Again printed in 2002 this design We have uh, two pesos the Five pesos And the ten pesos Monument of the flag is uh, is one of the most beautiful monuments I have ever seen in in reality in photos and uh, in uh, currency design and this five pesos is the only one of the last uh, or the actual uh, actual design the last the last design I think is from uh, 2015. So this is the only one that I have from uh, the current circulating uh, banknotes. Very uh, different color scheme. So yeah guys, uh, this was my 
Argentinian uh, coin and banknote collection to date. I will continue collecting coins and uh, banknotes from uh, every country. And uh, you know, uh, next year I will do the updated videos uh, for about every country that I will record this year. So yeah, this was my total Argentinian uh, coin and banknote collection to date. I hope you enjoyed it. If I made some mistake during this video, please correct me. Uh, leave a message uh, below the video. Or you can ask me any questions you want about Argentinian currency or in general. Also, please if, uh, give the video a thumbs up. It really hel helps me. Uh, helps the channel grow. I really thank you for the for your uh, support, for your kind words, and uh, I really mean it. Uh, I, I I really thank you guys. I I didn't uh, expect uh, this uh, kind of, of of love from you. Thank you, thank you very much. So if you are new, please consider subscribing. Uh, in, on my channel you will find also videos uh, mail day, uh, that are videos that I uh, unboxing videos. Uh, when I get to unbox uh, different coins or bangers from the world and explaining them or talking about them, some, some info. So yeah guys, uh, thank you again, please. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and uh, the, please uh, check the notification bell. You will be notified when I will uh, upload a new video. So yeah, thank you guys again. And also, I will not forget to uh, repeat that you can find me on social media. Links in the video description. Uh, Facebook, Facebook pages, my Instagram and also my eBay store. Thanks guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.